Welcome, my name is Alicia and today we're going to be talking about c-section recovery and things that I did and some tips and tricks to help you out to really help speed up your recovery. My channel is all about motherhood and being a NICU and toddler mom so if this is something that you're interested in please go ahead and subscribe but without further ado let's get into today's video. So the first thing I wanted to discuss is the c-section experience um, and what you should be preparing for. So after your c-section you will be in the bed and kind of just resting a little bit they do want you to get up and going as soon as possible so um, you'll definitely need help from your spouse or from family or from the nurse or doctor so just keep that in mind that there's going to be very limited movement at first um, it's going to be painful in that area and like literally Everything will be painful, laughing will be painful, going to number two will be painful. Um, really anything that has to do with your abdomen, which you end up noticing is quite a lot. Like just sitting down, you use all those ab muscles, getting up, you know, all of that. It just, it takes a lot. Um, and so the recovery is going to be about one to two weeks depending on your situation and um, how well your body heals. But within this time, you'll really start to see that with each day, um, as long as you're staying active, that you'll see some progression. After having a C-section, you won't be able to work out, you won't be able to lift heavy things, um, and you also won't be able to have sex after six weeks. Um, in addition to that, you can't take a bath and you can only take showers where the water is like running off of you and they don't want you using soap directly on the affected area. They want you to kind of just let it run off of your body onto that area. So just keep that in mind. Another thing is when you have your C-section, you'll also if you have the glue instead of the stitches, which is what I ended up having, they glued me shut, um, you'll notice that it'll start to peel. Do not peel it, okay? This is like, do not peel it. So my mom had glue on hers when she had my brother and she peeled it and it reopened. So do not, do not, do not peel it. And it is so hard not to because as a personal like person who likes to peel things peel scabs all of that you have to restrain yourself and just make sure that you don't because that is the scariest thing the fact that my mom told me that and it happened to her i was like okay i can't touch this i have to let it be um and so i didn't but just make sure that if you see that it's normal if it's starting to come off don't help it come off it'll come off on its own just leave it be. So my first tip is to stay active. Um, what I mean by this is not necessarily like start running, <laughs> but it's more so of making sure that you, although you're going to want to stay in bed because it is painful, you're going to want to get up and move around a little bit. Maybe, you know, walk around the house for five to 10 minutes, see how you do or for, you know, as long as you can until you just can't do it anymore. And then progress that with each day, um, making sure that you're not just staying bedridden because that'll just make the process of recovery so much longer if you're not trying to heal yourself and get used to the feeling. Um, the second tip that I have is once you're able to, once a doctor allows you to, make sure to get these. This is a three pack on Amazon and I'll put the screenshot here of exactly what I got, but it's a three piece set and these are waistbands. There are four different areas of, you know, support, whether it's back support, um, your abdomen specifically, things like that. So these are super, super helpful. Um, and you can even wear them afterwards just as even more support. But I truly love these and felt like they really helped me with like sitting specifically, um, just making it less painful overall. So I definitely recommend getting these. The third thing I would recommend as far as 
if you're wanting to get rid of your c-section scar or kind of help it to heal a little bit quicker um, like get the scarring to go down I recommend getting a scar gel there are so many different ones on the market um, that you can easily find so if you're looking for one this is the one I use it's by Dr. Zenovia but if you don't want this one there's ton on the market like I said that probably worked just as well so um, I would definitely get some type of scar gel treatment the other thing I would recommend getting is silicone tape I haven't gotten it for my c-section personally um, just because I haven't gotten it yet like I just haven't gone out and gotten it because my c-section scar is healing pretty well with the scar gel on its own but when I got my mole removed here I used this um, silicone tape on it and it worked wonders like you can barely see that it's there so eventually I'll probably put the silicone tape but mine is pretty fresh so I'm just using the scar gel treatment right now um, but I would definitely recommend that because I have had it before for other scars and I've seen it work wonders for many people for their c-section scar these are the things that really helped me and I really hope that this information helps you whether you just had a c-section or you plan on having a c-section I really hope these tips end up helping you out on your journey please make sure to subscribe and like before you leave and I'll see you guys next week bye